Hey YouTube, how's it going? I haven't put a video up in a while because I, well, life's happened. <laughs> Things happen and I've been busy around here and today we were cleaning out, my girlfriend and I were cleaning out the lean-to in the back of this shop. I found an old axe, old axe head. And what I thought, I just said, hmm, I want to finish this and I think I'll make a video about that. Your guess is as good as mine on how this is going to turn out, but I, I've got a pretty good feeling about this. Well, here's my finished piece. I uh, don't know if you can see it. Uh, I decided not to go all the way to 600, 600 grit with it. Um, I decided only to go to 220 because I plan on using this and there really is no sense in me having a ornamental axe to chop wood with. The reason I decided to use this axe is because it's USA made. And that's pretty important to me. Because we live in a society that you use and you throw away. It's, everything's made you cheap today. I mean, it's like an axe. You go buy an axe, you go buy an axe handle, and it's not good hickory or anything. And in good wood, it's usually fiberglass filled with a resin inside instead of a wood ways like it's supposed to be. And the resin, well from all the hitting and slamming and temperature changes, it tends to crack. And once it's cracking, you might as well throw it away because it's not really repairable. 
but something like this, I mean, good old USA, this is a good old hickory handle. And actually, I prefer it. I prefer it not to be finished because that's just going to wear off and that's going to cause grip problems. I prefer it. I prefer. I prefer to have one like this. Just plain old hickory. Not really, not too much grain showing. This has got a price tag of four bucks on it. Huh. Wow, I could have bought four of those for what I paid for the handle. Uh, but anyway, take some boiled linseed oil and rub it on this handle afterwards. Like four or five coats in about an hour and a half. And you have a good thing, good, very good, very good tool. So I'm going to like this with this varnish on it, with this varnish on it, I'll have to sand this down with a 180 and treat it myself with boiling seed oil. I hate to do that, but it's just, the finish is just going to crack and it's going to come off and then the wood's going to be unprotected. And then we're going to be out of handle and it cost me like 20 bucks. So, and that's all they had, they didn't have anything else. That's all for this time, and don't forget to support our troops and thank a veteran for our service.